here we have an example of a related rates problem. And in a related rates problem, the first thing you always want to do is write down an equation that relates the value you know to the value you are looking for. So in this case, we know the diameter and we know the rate of change of the surface area. And we're trying to find the rate of change of the diameter. So we want to find an equation that relates the surface area of a sphere to its diameter. And in this case, our equation is going to be that the area of a sphere is equal to pi times its diameter squared. You might be more familiar with the equation involving radius, which is this one here. But if you take this equation, if you substitute in 2r for the diameter, you'd get the same thing. So these two equations are the same, and we're going to use this one. So now that we know the relationship between area and diameter, the next step is taking the time derivative of both sides. So we're going to take the time derivative of this side. And we're going to take the time derivative of this side. And so we take the time derivative of the left side. We just get dA dt. Now we take the time derivative of the right-hand side. So d is the only thing on the right-hand side that's dependent on time. And it's being squared. So we're going to do a power rule. So we put the 2 in front. And then we reduce the power by 1. So it becomes d to the first. But now, since d is a function of time, we need to apply the chain rule. So now, afterwards, we need to multiply by the derivative of d with respect to time. And now we have an equation that has what we want in it, the rate of change of the diameter. And it relates it to two quantities that we know, the rate of change of the surface area and the diameter. And so if I rearrange this equation, we can see that the rate of change of the diameter is equal to the rate of change of the area divided by 2 times pi times d. So now we can plug in the values given to us in the problem. So the rate of change of the area, so it's decreasing at a rate of 7 square centimeters per minute. This is going to be the negative 7 square centimeters per minute. And then all over 2 times pi times the diameter at this moment in time, which is 11 centimeters. And so if we multiply everything out, I'm going to leave it as a fraction. And then we can cancel our units. We'll see our answer is going to be in centimeters per minute. So we're going to have negative 7 over 2 times 11, 22 pi. And that will be in centimeters per minute. So at this moment in time, the diameter of the snowball is decreasing at a rate of 7 over 22 pi centimeters per minute. Um, there you go. Hope that was helpful.